Hello scientific audience, hope you are doing well. Today we are going to understand precipitation reaction, a type of double displacement reaction through a demonstration. But before we move ahead, I suggest you to understand the solubility chart which talks about which substances are soluble in water and which are not. Solubility chart says that all compounds of sodium and potassium are soluble in water. These reactions are very very important for grade 9 to 12 students. Now for this experiment I will require a spatula, test tube stand, few test tubes, some water in a beaker, anhydrous sodium sulphate, and barium nitrate powder. Sodium sulphate is a white powder that is soluble in water and barium nitrate is also a white powder soluble in water. Now I am going to take some amount of both the salts in two different test tubes. Now I will add some water to both the test tubes containing salts and shake well to make their aqueous solution.
In another dry test tube, I am going to add the solutions of both the compounds and due to double displacement reaction, two new compounds will be formed out of which one will be soluble in water and another won't. Wow, look at the white precipitates of barium sulphate. Precipitates are always insoluble in water and as per the solubility chart, barium sulphate which is formed is insoluble so it settles down as white precipitate. Now I will allow the precipitates to settle down for next 15 minutes and then we are going to observe it again. Look at the beautiful white precipitates of barium sulphate. Well, I have removed the clear solution from the top and I am going to collect the white precipitates which are settled at the bottom in the petri dish. This is an optional step, you need not to do it. Hope you might have enjoyed the experiment. Please do subscribe my channel and keep on commenting.